what is up YouTube, I am back with another upload and in today's video we will be looking at the different types of jumpers so there are three main types of jumpers so we've got the speed jumper, the power jumper and the hybrid jumper so today we'll be looking at the speed jumper but before I get into the video I just want to say that I've used some different jumpers in this video so if you want to go and check them out the apps will be on the screen and also the links will be in the description to some of their social media platforms so on the screen now is a video of my max vertical jump test at dunk camp 2019 so i'm personally a speed jumper so i thought it'd be good to kind of show you what it looks like in slow motion but usually if you see a regular non-slow-mo video you'll see that a speed jumper will oftentimes use their horizontal velocity as the main driver for the jump so this is just a screenshot that I took from the jump. So two of the main kind of technical aspects that will set a speed jumper apart from other jumpers is the heel recovery to the butt and also the very little knee bend that they'll use. So as you can see in this photo, my heel recovers closer to my butt and this is known as butt kicking. So you've got butt kicking and toe dragging. So a power jumper will use more of a sweeping motion, whereas the speed jumper will just recover the heel to the butt. So moving on from the one foot speed jumper, we'll now take a look at the two foot speed jumper. So this is a video I got from Dunk Camp 2019 of Daniel Yaguida. I think that's how you pronounce his name. But basically what you'll notice with the two foot speed jumper is that they'll have a much longer approach compared to a two foot power jumper. And again, they will use very little knee bend. Now we're going to take a more in-depth look into some of the physiological qualities that a speed jumper will possess. So a speed jumper is a highly elastic athlete that will produce force very quickly. So when we look at the producing force very quickly aspect, we'll often see speed jumpers have ground contact times of under 200 milliseconds. And comparing that to a power jumper, you'd often see them having ground contact times of about 250 milliseconds. And then looking at a two foot speed jumper, you'll often see that they'll have ground contact times of in the 260 millisecond range all the way to about 230 milliseconds. And then comparing that to power jumping off two feet, they would usually have contact times of about 330 to possibly 400 plus milliseconds. So since speed jumpers produce force very quickly and often have very well developed stretch shorten cycles, they will often do well with a RSI test. So this is one way also to test if you're a very elastic athlete. And speed jumpers will usually test in the 4 to 5 range, which is an incredibly elite value for a reactive strength index test. So another cool thing about speed jumpers is that it could be easier to dunk on people if you're a speed jumper. So as you saw Nick Frizz there, he dunked on that guy because that guy didn't produce force fast enough to keep up with Nick Frizz essentially. So now we're going to look at can you jump like this and if so how can you do that? So personally I think much like sprinting speed jumping is probably incredibly genetic. So if we look at sprinters they produce force very fast but if you maybe look at someone from the general population they would not produce force as fast as an elite sprinter. But to counter that point you could also say that you can change your gene expression. So we know that you can make your muscles bigger so I can hypertrophy my bicep and make it maybe an inch bigger within a few months and also you can change the stiffness of your tendons and when looking at the speed jumper we discussed earlier that they were a very elastic athlete so when we do talk about elasticity we talk about more stiffness so think of when you drop a bouncy ball, how stiff it is on contact and how it bounces up really high. And that's how you can think of the tendons roll when jumping specifically for a speed jumper. So to conclude whether or not you can convert to a speed jumper, John Evans is trying to convert to a speed jumper from a lifetime power jumper. So you can go and look at his journey on his page translating human performance. So that about does it for the video. So if there's anything in this video that you think is factually incorrect you can dm me on instagram or drop it in the comments below but yeah that's about it so remember go and check the people out that are in this video and thanks for watching